my name is John Arena. I'm a pizza guy. I'm not a pizza chef. I'm a pizza guy. Pizza is a decorated form of bread. Bread baking art and the pizza making art are hand in hand. If you said to somebody, you're a good pie man, that was like you had entered into this world where you could be depended on. You know, in the old days we didn't have a uh, cooking channel, we didn't have Food Network. You told the world who you were through the, through the food, through the pizza. That was your calling card and there's no place to hide with that. Yeah, I grew up in, I grew up in a pizza making family in New York. Naturally, like all kids, I hated doing what my parents wanted me to do, so I never thought I was gonna end up being a pizza maker. I worked my family pizzeria from when I was about six years old. In my family, the tradition was, when you turned 13, you were allowed to become a pizza maker. So the day after I turned 13, I made my first pizza, and the very first pizza that I ever made got sold. And it was a vocation before it became an avocation. Pizza consumers are much more educated now. The average consumer knows way more about pizza now than the average pizza maker did 25 years ago. Pizza makers have gone back to their original root and become more like bread bakers. People tend to, in the pizza business, they'll come in and they'll say, oh, well, the pizza's not the same as it was the last time I was here. And my first question is, are you the same as the last time you were here? So there's, the, there's this myth in the food business about consistency. That consistency is this great desirable thing that we try to achieve. First of all, consistency is impossible. You can't replicate the experience that you had the last time you were there because one of the variables at least has changed. You've changed. In addition, the, the dough itself is alive, so it's constantly changing. You know, we talk about consistency as being, as being uh, something that's desirable, but what are you afraid of? My joy is in you come to me and we talk and we have a conversation and I get to know you and then I try to use my skills to make the pizza that you think is the perfect pizza. You're not just competing against the guy down the street. It's not about what's just what's on the plate. It's about so much more than that. All of the associations that you have with that food as a communal food. So you think back to, you know, whatever your, your earliest pizza memories are and that's what you're judging what's on that plate by. Not just the flour, salt, water, and yeast, the tomatoes, the cheese, but all of the other memories that you have. And in a sense, those memories are in part an illusion. So I'm, com I'm competing against this mythological pizza. Your earliest pizza memory be may be that your grandmother made pizza for you when you were a little kid. How do I compete with this memory of your, your beloved grandmother? You know, it's impossible. My cousin and I grew up working in our family pizzeria. Um, we worked side by side from when we were little children. And when we got out of college, we found a pizzeria that was for sale in Las Vegas. And the man who owned it hated Las Vegas and he wanted to get out. He was willing to hold a note if we could come up with a down payment. Sold everything we owned. We had enough money for this down payment. We dropped off our belongings in a by-the-week motel on Las Vegas Boulevard, drove the car to California and took a bus back and we opened up our first pizzeria, we gave the guy the down payment, and as soon as we gave him the down payment, he showed us how to turn, on the, turn the lights on and off and he left. We never saw him again. We knew that we were gonna be doing something that we loved, and we knew over time we had grown to appreciate what a pizzeria means to a neighborhood, and what a pizzeria can do to, to bring people together. And we wanted to replicate that in Las Vegas. And we knew from growing up, you know, we grew up in the neighborhood, my family's pizzeria was in the neighborhood that we lived. So everybody knew my dad, everybody knew my aunts and uncles, everybody knew, you know, knew my mom. And we realized what, you know, what kind of an attachment that was and what kind of a responsibility that was. But when we opened that first store in Las Vegas, people didn't know our names, they didn't know who we were, but they would see us, they would see us out on the street and they would, they would see one of us and they'd say, that's the pizza guy. And then it's a, and that's the other pizza guy. You know, so it was like, um, even if they didn't know our names, it's, it, our names became the pizza guy and the other pizza guy because we were that closely associated with what we did. Mm -hmm.